Hi everyone, so today I am going to do a, another spread in my Happy Planner. If this is the very first time that you're watching this video, a Happy Planner is something that kind of looks like this and there are little individual boxes that you can actually decorate and customize. A lot of this planner is really fully customizable. You can take the pages out, you can do different inserts, you can do different um, covers, you can do different binder rings. So it's super fun and it's a really cheap alternative to the Erin Condren planner. You can get these for about 12 to $15 at Michael's Craft Store or Hobby Lobby. And each week to make it a lot easier on my creativity, I just pick a theme and that makes it a lot easier and I don't have to fight with myself on wondering what am I going to do. I just write some of the things that I love the most and then I'll do a theme of that. So to recap last week's spread, I did a Grinch theme. So I really went with more of a green color because he is green and I added this little piece of like page insert where you can write stuff on the back. And I made most of my stickers by just Googling images and printing them out on sticker paper. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing for this week. The theme that I am going with is going to be a gingerbread theme. So I'm super excited about it. And I had hauled this sticker from the Dollar Tree. And when I saw this, I knew that I wanted to do a planner video using these stickers. I also have these stickers from Hobby Lobby. I've pulled some pieces of scrapbook paper out from this little booklet. I don't know, it's Craft Smith, and it comes with all of these patterns. This one actually came in a different booklet by the Paper Studio, but I pulled this piece and this one and this one, and I'll be cutting those up to fit into the little boxes. I also pulled these little cute gingerbread stickers. They're felt. They are a little bit, they're not flat obviously, so I'm not sure that they'll make it into my Happy Planner because I do want my Happy Planner to be flat. I don't want like bubbly stickers sticking out. So I'm not sure if those will make it. And then I have some of the stickers that I've already cut out that I printed myself. And if you wanna see the measurements on that, go check out my Grinch video. I put the measurements for the table properties in your Word document on how to um, make these and fit them into these boxes. These are some more little stickers I cut out. And the next thing I do is I like to pull washi. I never know what I'm going to end up using, but I pulled some washi that I thought I might like to use. And then of course I printed out my little page. I just went to Google Images and Google Gingerbread Houses and I liked this one the most. I'll be making another card insert like this because I do like to use this to write additional stuff on the back. So the first thing that I do is I am going to start cutting out my boxes to fit here with my scrapbook paper. I am probably going to cut about three or four boxes of each pattern. Not all of them may make it in here, so but I'm going to cut out about three or four with my cutter tool. So I finished cutting up my boxes and sort of placing them where I think they're gonna go and I also cut out my little sidebar box. Something else that I do is I take one piece of scrapbook that's going to be the main scrapbook piece that you will see the most in my spread and that way just kind of keeps it from being too busy. And so, and like this is my main scrapbook piece, it will be my sidebar piece. You'll see a lot of them in the little boxes. And I actually also cut out my little circles, which will cover the dates because I don't want to see that black. And so I'll kind of like redo the top here. Once I have my stickers and scrapbook papers where I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and start to put them down with crafter's tape or peel the back because some of them are stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and Put these permanently down into my planner.
Now I am going to washi the bottom of my planner and I am going to use this fabric washi. I think it is from Target. I'm not entirely sure the Target dollar spot. And I'm loving this baby pink with the white polka dots. It seems to fit really perfectly with the gingerbread theme. I am going to rewrite in the days here at the top just because I wanted to get rid of that black. I don't have any like pink sticker letters for me to use, so I'm just going to use this pink marker and hope that it shows up really well. I've got my dates filled in with my pink marker and I also went ahead and added this in here with pink as well, a little to-do section. I did this last week and I talked about how this is a really great place for me to put down some items that I'm not sure what day I can actually do them, but I know that they need to, need to be done this week. So the next thing I wanna do is take, I make a little list ahead of time of what needs to go on my calendar and now I'm gonna write those things in this is something I also do when I know that I have a lot of things to write in, I leave my boxes white. So I know that I have a couple of things at night on Monday and Tuesday night, so I leave those white. And these are kind of just random, but I really don't have much going on this week at all. I almost have too much going on the week that we're in right now that I don't even know what I need to get done this week, but I know it's gotta be quite a bit because you know it's like crunch time, it's before Christmas. So I'm gonna have to sit here and think about this, but I've got my important events that my daughter has to go to. I know that I'm gonna need to go to the grocery store and I definitely need to clean my bathrooms. I don't even wanna talk about it. I don't even know how it gets dirty the way it does, but whatever, I'm not even gonna go there. So now what I usually like to do is take stickers and decorate with my stickers. Even though really, I mean, there's where else am I gonna put stuff? But let me tell you, I will find places for my stickers. So I've got these gorgeous ones from Hobby Lobby and these beautiful ones from the Dollar Tree. This one. Which would look really cute here at the bottom. I always like to put a sticker at the bottom where my notes are. And now I'm going to use, this one is really pretty too. Put this sticker right here in the middle in the morning. Like over those two, that looks really cute. And now I'm just going to add some of these little tree stickers. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move on and I'm going to make the little page insert that I always like to make for this. I'm not entirely sure about this pattern. Obviously, it's different than this pink, but it's still like a cute pastel -y color. Let's see, what are my other options? What about this one? That's kind of cute. Let's just go with that. I want just enough of these little peppermints to stick out and it gives me a little bit more writing room. And then I need a little bit of thickness on the side because we're gonna punch the holes here. So now I'm just gonna trim the top. I want it to be almost equal to the bottom. And then we'll trim the side here. I kind of like it right here. So I am gonna take my marker and I'm gonna make dots where I'm going to hole punch. There we go. We could also add stickers to this if we wanted to. Maybe some candy canes would be cute. Some of these little candies. Maybe adorable. Okay, now I have a really great space to write on. And if you want to add more stickers here, you could. You can also make yourself like page flags or page markers, which I've done here. This is just a pink paper clip that I've picked up from the Dollar Tree and they have like multicolors in theirs. And I just grabbed a pink one from the stack and then I hot glued to the back of this heart, which is actually a sticker. And I believe it's from the Dollar Tree from the Valentine's Day decor from this year, earlier this year. So I just hot glued a little piece back here and it stays very well and I love how great it kind of looks with this spread. So if I am going to be taking my planner with me, it's my little marker, so that I know where my page is at. So this is my spread for December 14th through the 20th. It's a gorgeous gingerbread theme. I'm absolutely loving this, you guys. I don't know why this makes me so entirely happy, but it just does. And I love that I already had all of this stuff on hand. I mean, obviously I paid for it at one point in time, but I've used so much with my scrapbook paper and my stickers. I've used it in other stuff and my calendar advent bags. And it's been so much fun doing this theme this week. It's just, I don't know. I don't know why I love this so much and I'm incredibly happy. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And next week's theme, I believe is gonna be just a really good old traditional Christmas spread. I am going to go ahead and start looking at my material and see what I have, but I think it's just gonna be just some good old red and green and some gold in there. So I cannot wait to share that with you as well. I hope you guys liked this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.